everyone it's Yvonne here to do the reading for the lovely sign of Aries Aries before we go any further if you if you recognize yourself as an Aries that generally is because Aries is in your sun sign so if I say what sign are you and you say Aries it's your sun sign but be aware that you can have Aries other places in your chart sometimes I've crossed watched a video and it's actually sounded like me and I used to wonder why that happened I used to think you know the energies just change but now I realize if I have Aries somewhere in my chart that reading may necessarily sort of you know sit with me and feel like my reading if you're interested in finding more out about star signs go and google yourself a natal chart put in all the details of your birth and if you have your time of birth even better um, and pull up a natal chart and you can see what planets were in your sign at the time, date and place you were born at. It gives you a far more rounded picture of who you are as a person. Um, Aries is, a, is a, a fire sign, so obviously in red um, and is represented in the tarot generally by um, the tower. Um, but there are other sort of cards that would represent an Aries. Um, but yeah, if you're interested, go and look it up. It's all it's all good. If you're interested in learning the tarot, um, I do offer now a membership program on my channel that you can join up and pay a, um, a cost every month. Um, there are already a number of videos up there and I'm just starting to do some one-on-one -on -one classes with people and I hope to get people together because I feel like tarot is really easily learned when you do it with other people. Um, so if you're interested in that membership on my channel, um, for those of you who are interested in the life coaching component, um, I'm currently offering a six session life coaching program to help you remove blocks or deal with childhood issues, um, whatever it is for you, um, six sessions at a reduced price. I do this usually at least once a year. Um, so if you want to, if you're interested in the life coaching, just go to um, the Aussie Goddess or email me at the Aussie Goddess the Aussie goddess at gmail.com um, and I will re respond with the costs and everything. Um, I only take six people at a time because it's quite um, quite a demanding sort of uh, course um, but I do expect that you do lots of homework with that. All right let's have a look and see what's going on in Aries world. I'll give the cards a bit of a shuffle. We're going to use the, the uh, Morgan Greer, no the handsome Roberts deck for your reading. I should never have poured the two of them out together um, because one time I called one the other name and somebody would jump straight on me and said, oh, you said the wrong name. I don't know why I pulled them out together. I think that I like both the decks and they sort of call to me at the same time. All right, Aries, what is happening for you in Aries world? Okay, we're starting off with the Hanged Man. This is a card of Pisces. Um, so if you're dealing with a Pisces or you're a Pisces cross-watching this, this reading may resonate with you. Um, the Hanged Man for me is a card that talks about seeing things from a different perspective. Sometimes it can mean we're a little bit stuck in the place we're at. So, you know, those times when you feel like things aren't moving forward, you're sort of sitting still and you're getting a little bit antsy because things don't seem to be happening. That to me is a Hanged Man moment. I feel the universe puts you in that waiting room because there's something you need to learn before you can move forward or something isn't quite ready for you to move on. So when the Hanged Man comes around, number one, it's about us seeing things from a different perspective or learning to see things differently. And I always think, when I was a kid, I loved dangling upside down on the lounge because the world looked different to me or on the swing at the park because the world looked very different to me when I was hanging upside down. All right. Now, it could be in regards to um, a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. So Pisces coming up again here. Um, if you're dealing with a Pisces, then it's definitely your reading. But I feel like there's somebody here that you may be feeling very strong feelings for, but you are maybe not quite sure if they feel the same way about you. So you may be developing feelings for someone. You may want to sort of tell them about it. You may want to talk about it, but you're unsure that this person is feeling the same way. That's why you've sort of got yourself in this hanged man energy. It could be that you have dated someone that you are starting to fall in love with, or you're wondering if somebody that you've had some sort of connection with felt the same way about you. 
So we do have the Wheel of Fortune coming through and I do have the Queen of Wands with the Page of Cups and the Ace of Cups. Look at that. So you want to express yourself to someone. Now, it could be somebody that you've been with in the past. Maybe you're questioning how they felt about you or whether they still feel the same way. But it could be somebody new you've just met where you are starting to um, get feelings for someone, but you're not really sure whether they feel the same way. So it's that sort of time in a relationship when you're just starting to gather feelings. And it can be quite scary because... You're feeling vulnerable, you're feeling all these nice feelings, but you're not really sure the other person is feeling the same way. The thing is, they more than likely are, but because of our own self-doubt, we may be unsure. All right, so we have the Ace of Pentacles coming through with the Four of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups. Wow, you really have hit the jackpot here. Okay, and you are really in a dither. Um... I feel like you've met somebody that you cannot get out of your head. You cannot get out, get them out of your head. This sort of makes me feel like you want something more than just dating. So definitely feeling now you may be sort of dealing with somebody. It could be that you've been friends with somebody for a while and you've started to get feelings or you've started to want to have a relationship with them. But whatever it is here, you are getting very, very antsy about it here. And I do feel with that Ten of Cups, you've seen so much potential in this person that you want something more. All right, we have the Five of Pentacles coming through. A lot of Pentacles. You could work with somebody here. Ten of Wands. Okay, and the Empress coming through. Wow, okay. So whoever this person is, they make you feel very whole and complete. Um, it may be, you know, that you sort of, you satisfy each other on a lot of different levels. Um, I feel like you may have known this person for a while or there may be some history here um, with the especially with this sort of empress energy so it could be somebody that you have been dating for a while it could be somebody you dated in the past but you still feel really strongly towards them if that's the case, you found it really, really hard to let them go because you have this sort of feeling with this five of pentacles that perhaps your life doesn't feel the same without them. So you've built some sort of foundation here. All right, we have the strength card coming through. So you have a lot of Aries and Leo energy, nine of cups. All right, three of pentacles. I always think with the three of pentacles, so for me, this is the like the life path card it is a soul contract card so when it comes up in a reading i think you have a really strong soul tie to a person or a situation and it's like you have a soul contract with somebody so when you feel really closely aligned with someone it's almost like i was meant to meet this person this person was meant to be in my life um but you do have the nine of cups with that so to me, this is a very, very strong feeling of wanting more, of wanting to move forward, of feeling very satisfied with what you've got, but wanting more from that. So we do have the strength card. So I would say to you, especially with that nine of cups, hang in there because I do feel this person feels the same way about you. They definitely feel to me like they see you as um, pretty incredible. Let's put a few more cards on that. Let's see what's going on. So I feel like you're in this energy of waiting to find out, trying to sort of get to the bottom of things. Maybe you're watching everything this person does to see if they feel the same way. I feel like you're totally and utterly smitten by them and you want to talk to them about it. But for some other reason, it's like waiting for the universe to step in or maybe waiting for them to make the first move. I feel like here you are ready to make the offer to them. And I feel like you're, you want to tell them you're in love with them. Um, if it is somebody from your past, I feel like you almost feel like a part of you is missing. Um, it could be that you've met someone and they are not attainable. Not attainable. So it may be that they are either possibly in another situation 
or you work with them and you're not meant to have a relationship at work. Um, or it could be that they live at a distance to you and you're not really sure whether you can make the distance work. But there seems to be this energy of unattainable. Unattainable. Like you have to either wait for them to speak to you or make the choice and you're waiting. <coughs> oh, excuse me. You're waiting on that. But whatever it is, you feel totally lost without this person and you do feel that you have a very strong soul tie to them or an Ace of Cups came straight back out again. So there's a very, very strong love connection here. King of Wands coming through. So again, we have that Aries energy coming through very strongly. Leo, uh, Sagittarius, Ten of Swords coming through. Oh, and the Justice card. Ah, there you go. So there is definitely unfinished business when I see the Justice card. So nothing is completed yet. So if you're in Hanged Man waiting for some sort of energy to change, I would say to you just hold fast. I feel like your person is coming in to tell you. They are the King of Wands to your Queen of Wands. So to me, that says you are very strongly matched and this person more than likely does feel the same way. But because I have, so these cards are beautiful for clarifiers, but because I have the Justice card with the Ten of Swords, I'm feeling like something needs to be done, said or whatever before you speak up or before they speak up. So if it's a work situation, it would make me feel like somehow or another there has to be something decided between the two of you before it can go forward. So, you know, you may work in the same department. Maybe you have to ask for a transfer before things can move forward. Um, but it definitely feels to me like they feel the same way. They want to make it work with you too. And I feel like somehow or another that's all going to come out in the wash very shortly. Aries, I'm going to draw you an oracle card from the Elemental Oracle by Stacey DeMarco. Um, so let's have a look and see what the universe says to all of that. Oh, straight out, oceans, bravery. Mm, that's interesting. I love these cards. They're so beautifully presented. Okay, and it's card number 30, if that means anything. Card three, soul contract again, and it's called oceans. Go forth and explore. You won't see much if you keep the shore always in sight. Be brave in your choices. This is not the time to be fearful. Someone who is close to you has a hidden side and it's best to be mindful of this in your decision making. That came across actually in the What's Cracking reading today, like somebody wasn't being completely honest with you. So it might be worthwhile having a quick check of that. Um, but what I feel like here, that this is saying, speak up, be proud. Be proud of who you are and how you feel. At the end of the day, if your person doesn't feel the same or they sort of not really interested, whatever it is, at least you're finding out before you get too invested. But I feel like your person does feel the same, but it just feels like with the oceans especially, that there is something there that's sort of keeping the two of you apart. It's almost like there's a gap or, and when I feel a gap, I feel like it's more than likely that either you live too far away from each other or the gap is that something has to be rectified or put right in between that gap. So it, may, it might mean, for example, if you're at work, you can't be with somebody because of the rules um, and therefore you've got to bridge that gap somehow. Um, it could mean that that person is with somebody else and you feel that way about them, but that gap needs to be addressed. But whatever it is, I feel like this person is definitely feeling the same way. It might just be that they can't commit to you at this time or there has to be certain things cleared away before they can. I'll leave you with that. Thanks, Ari.